Transition Matrices, Part 2, Introduction. Now, imagine a situation where you've got eggs, which turn into chickens, which then turn into dinner, or dead. And you can see that there's a definite one-way journey here, that you go from eggs to chicken to dinner. And I've colored this in, in the three spots. So we've got the red for the eggs and the C for the chicken and the D for dead for your dinner. And you can see there's a problem though, because you know, dead things don't become chickens and dead things don't become eggs. And we can see that with these uh, zeros that we get uh, over here. So they've got these zeros. All right, so uh, that's shown also on the diagram. So uh, dead things, uh, dead things don't become uh, chickens and dead things don't become eggs um, and 100% of the dead things stay dead. I know, it's a uh, fascinating what you can find out with maths. So if you have a uh, transition matrix and imagine you're, you're a brand new chicken farmer and this is your initial uh, state and what you've done is you said, well, look, you know, uh, I'm just going to buy some eggs and then uh, they'll hatch to become chickens and then you know when they're big enough I'll eat them for my dinner. So you don't need any chickens to start with, you just need some eggs. Which came first? And so you know if I put these into my uh, calculator, there's my uh, transition matrix here and here's my S naught here. So now what we've done is we've done you know the T times S naught equals S1 and that's given us our values over here. And we can then think, well, you know, that's my eggs, that's my chickens, and that's my dinners. And you can see, because, you know, only half of the uh, eggs stayed as eggs, we've already gone from 10,000 eggs down to uh, 5,000 uh, eggs. And this is your problem, because, you know, the eggs are going to become chickens, and the chickens are going to become uh, dinner. So it's a, a steady decline. And, and then here we go again. So this, this is a snort that's S1. This is T uh, times S1 equals oh, S2. And again, you know, we've lost a lot of our uh, eggs and we're getting a lot more dinners. And the more you keep doing this, you know, S1, S2, S3, this is S4. We've gone from 10,000, we down to only 625 uh, eggs left. And basically, when we get to the sort of, you know, uh, steady state situations, it, the steady state is really, uh, this number is basically zero. Uh, remember, there's that E4 going on there. Pay attention to that. And this one is basically zero, and this one's basically 10,000. So actually, our matrix looks like this now. And that makes sense, you know, all, basically, uh, all the eggs and, uh, have become chickens, and all the chickens have become dead, so you end up with the reverse of what we had right at the start. So this has now become this. We've got to do something to rectify that situation. So remembering that this is T and this is S naught, what we want is a situation where we hit stability. And so stability would be um, that whatever we get equals the same situation. So what we need to do is go back to this this original thing which says t times s naught equals s1 and we've got to go well what do i have to do to this to get back to that well uh, let's compare like with like so uh, if i highlight here i got 10,000 and i became 5,000 well what would i have to do well uh, I would ideally like to uh, add another 5,000 eggs because then 5,000 plus the 5,000 would get me back to my 10,000. Let me try looking at the next lot of numbers. So uh, here I've got 4,000 and then I'm at zero. So I need to get rid of some of those things. So I need to subtract 4,000. Um, and that will get me back to zero. So minus 4,000 plus 4,000 will get me to zero. And then if I did that, uh, had a look, uh, the last number, that's a zero, and this is 1,000. So what I would like to do is minus 1,000. So if I add these two together, uh, I do get 
back to that. So here it is, we've got t times s naught plus b. What is b? b is this thing, that's b. And when you put it in your calculator, it does in fact equal what we wanted, which is 10,000. So an important thing to note is plus is buying, so I need to buy 5,000 eggs, and minus is selling. And this will happen a lot in questions uh, that ask you about whether you're buying or selling. So minus is selling. I've got to sell 4,000 chickens and sell 1,000 uh, dead chicken dinners. And that's our new kind of formula. So uh, we want this situation where T S naught plus B equals the same thing, S naught again. And that's, a, that's how we uh, sort of uh, force a steady state situation. And this is exactly the same as sort of like that idea of, you remember we said, this is basically compound interest. Well, this is like payments sort of uh, situation. And it's the same sort of maths. Um, and your problem is going to be, this can only be really done in a recurrence kind of way. So often these questions you have to use a lot of recurrence. Now, a very weird thing about these plus B things, and it does come up in questions and it can save you a lot of time, is the total for that is zero. 5,000 minus 4,000 minus 1,000 is zero. So whenever you have these uh, B matrices, the total uh, equals zero. And it has to, otherwise you're sort of uh, changing the whole system. If it didn't equal zero, uh, you'd actually be accumulating eggs or dead chickens. This is from the 2017 exam one question seven. And this is very much your uh, classic fish farm question, which they always like to talk about. So you've got uh, young fish, juvenile fish, adult fish and dead fish. OK, and it's classically once the steady state, you can see this plus B. And what they want you to work out is uh, what is B to make this whole thing work. And so we know we want that situation where uh, this Fn plus one is exactly the same as F naught. And this is also F naught. It's kind of gets confusingly written in these sort of situations. But basically you want uh, T times F naught plus B equals F naught. And we've got T and we've got F naught we've got to find B. So as always, we're going to put our uh, T into the calculator and we're going to put our F naught into the calculator. Uh, so we're just going to call it F because it makes life easier. And we do T times F and we get these values. Now, what we need to do then is figure out uh, how do we get from this back to that? Let's remind ourselves of the simple algebra we're doing here. You've got a situation where we've got F naught equals T F naught plus B. And we just uh, subtract this from both sides because we just want to find out what B is. So F naught minus T F naught does in fact equal B. That's my T F, which is here. So we know that then F naught minus T F naught does in fact equal B. This is my B over here. Now this represents the young, the juveniles, the adults and the dead um, in this situation. And the other thing to remember, of course, is that plus means buy and minus means sell. And we're only looking at really this uh, B matrix over here, those values, not at anything else. All right. Without much further ado, let's go through our multiple choice. First one is uh, A says we're selling 1,650 adult fish. So we need a minus 1,650 in the A. Well, bingo, first one right up there. So it looks like uh, A is correct. Let's look at why the other ones are wrong and what, what, what funny tricks they're trying to pull on people because um, only 36% uh, of people got this one right uh, on the exam. So it's not a very high strike rate. So there's lots of things to misunderstand. Let's try this one. Buy 1,750 adult fish. Well, again, that's the adult fish. It's 1,650. You'd have to make some sort of arithmetic error to get that wrong, um, to get a plus and then a 1650. So we know uh, that one's wrong. Let's try C. It says sell 
that's 17,500 young fish. So cell is minus. Um, we do have 17,500, and we do ha have it in the young fish thing, but we've got a plus. And that, and that makes sense. I mean, if you're selling all your young fish, uh, they can't turn into adults, and adults is where you're going to make your money, where you're growing your fish. Uh, so uh, it's a bit silly to sell your young fish and then not have any uh, juveniles or adults later on. That took a D. Uh, D is buy 50,000 young fish. So we're looking for buy, which is plus, and we want 50,000 in the young fish. No, that's actually from up here, which is from F0, uh, if you remember. So that one's just trying to fool you by giving you a value that's true for F0, but not for B. And we're looking at B after all. And the last one is buy 10,000 juvenile fish. Again, that's a value uh, which is actually from uh, F naught. Uh, here, for the juvenile fish, it's minus, which is sell. All right. So they're trying to check you about your buying and your selling, remember which one's positive or negative. Um, lots of people were all over the place on this one, so uh, maybe they just ran out of energy or retired or something. But uh, that's how we do the situation when we've got a plus B. And I'd just like to point out one extra thing here. Again, the total is zero. This is our uh, B, and when you add up uh, all those numbers, 17,500 minus 10,000 minus 1,650 minus 5,850 is zero. Very useful for a quick solution to some exam questions, which are in the next video.